gon' step up for me Make sure my fans stay cause my daughter got it everyone and thank you for coming back to our channel that's Deb Chanel's 40s world where we get down and do reviews this is going to be our last video for tonight because I'm tired y'all I'm tired but anyway we're going to get on into the polling video that I had for you all that was taken between the time frame of November 17th through November 23rd okay and we put, uh, I think it was about five or six polling questions out there for you guys to gravitate to, which were pretty much uh, on the Real Housewives of Atlanta platform, as well as Merit to Medicine. And we were just uh, putting uh, questions out there for you all to ponder about. And y'all make y'all elections and tell me what y'all thought about said questionnaire that was put out there for the week of the 17th through the 23rd. I have the results. They are in. So let's go on and get to them. Uh, one polling question was asked. What was your favorite part on the Real Housewives of Atlanta show for season 12, episode 3? 46% um, of you all said the viewers being able to see how Mark Daly feels about Kenya Moore. While 32% of you all said Nene Leakes coming back to the show for missing two episodes. And then it was tied with 11%. Uh, one was Bravo showing the more shadier side of Cynthia Bailey. And the other one was Candy letting us know how she really feels about Todd. And I was like, interesting, interesting how that is going to play a big part when the show airs her and Todd having a little discussion for the negative about him having all these business adventures, but nothing far as lucrative money is coming back in the household. <laughs> so I can't wait to see that particular episode. That was like a teaser they gave us. So it might be towards the latter part of the season for the show us. But that's the one I am really wanting to be tuning in for since he called himself starting himself a trucking business. I'm like, man, please. And you just had a baby that came in the world on the 22nd of this month, which was Friday. So everybody throw your glasses of wine or uh, beer or whatever your favorite choice at this time. If you're drinking, uh, relaxing and chilling at home or whatnot, throw your glasses up. Because Ken and Todd just brought a new life into the world through their surrogate um um employee i should say a friend maybe they're a friend of the family now but she was their host carrier for their baby baby girl blaze tucker running around there or she's being held at this time but i'm sure she's gonna be breaking many feet with them little feet going around now okay and ace gonna be trying to keep up with his baby sister all right that's gonna be a cute scene so y'all all throw correct congrats over there at their instagram account I'm sure y'all know and are familiar with them and show them plenty, plenty of love. Okay. Uh, the next polling question we had was on this past episode of Married to Medicine that aired on the Sunday, September 17th. What do you think Buffy Purcell should have said or done when Dr. Jackie exposed her personal business? Details to her audience at her book revealing event about Buffy being infer infertile. Okay. Um, an overwhelming response of 58% of you all said she should have handled it the way she did, which was however it was televised on the show that we saw last week. That's perfectly is how she should have handled it. Uh, we were tied at two, um, the questions coming back with responses at 8%. One was she should have turned that place out and embarrassed Jacket, And that was my favorite one. Cause, yeah, that's probably what I would have did. Okay. Uh, especially if I wasn't going to go to get, go to jail, <laughs> but I would have been turning that place out. But anyway, that was just my mind and was my body actually did the deed that's, that's, that's left to be discovered. Okay. Uh, the other 8% was said she should have cussed out the jacket out and left the event. And then, uh, 2% of you all said she should have went on stage and clocked her own tea. And 25% of y'all said she should have addressed Jackie on camera with the girls being surrounded by her. Okay, the next polling question was, um, Married to Medicine TV couple, Dr. Contessa and Dr. Scott, 
Do you think Dr. Scott was wrong in allowing Contessa, his wife, to disenroll from her master's program in order to save their family structure or foundation when it came to the kids and his well-being? Uh, overwhelming response of people voted 61 percentile said yes, he was totally wrong for allowing her to defer her dreams. While 31 percent of you all said no, he wasn't. He just wasn't. The, it just wasn't the right time for her to be away. While 8 percent of you all said maybe she should she should have took the longer option for the schooling, meaning she should have stayed here in Georgia paid a little bit more money or a lot more money for her education that she wanted to get that she, you know, under her belt to, um, you know, put her in the other specialty that she wanted to be in. She should have paid more money and that would have kept her at home every day and every night with the kids. But she was trying to cut corners when it came to the finance, which I still don't understand because she paid 15000 for a party for her three kids and she missed every last one of their birthdays, which I'm like, hmm. I'm not understanding that, Katelsa, not at all. But moving on to the next polling question. It was asked after watching The Real Housewives of Atlanta show for season 12, episode 3, when Mark Daly was definitely not feeling Kenya more at all. Do you think Kenya should have cut her losses and divorced Mark for iris, iris, ah, I get this always wrong. Iris, wait a minute. Iris, dang, I can't get it, y'all irreconcilable there we go irreconcilable differences or stay and try to work things out well 45 percent of you all said she should find a good attorney and divorce him while 34 percent of you all said she should get counseling for herself and her mentality 10 percent said she needs to practice self-love and respect for her environment and 11 percent of y'all said she should stay and work things out okay Next polling question was, do you think Cynthia Bailey has what it takes to put NeNe Leakes in her place? All right. 61% <laughs> of you all said, hell no. <laughs> That's why I got Cynthia sitting on the bench with duct tape on her mouth. She can't say nothing. She can't do nothing but look pretty and don't say nothing. And 39% of you all said, yes, she does. She just won't do it. Okay. And the last and final polling question of that week was, what do you think about Tamar Braxton apologizing twice for the same offense to the LGBT, LGBT community on social media? Was she being genuine or not? Well, an overwhelmingly response of people voted 71% said, no, she was just saving face. She wasn't sorry at all. While 29% of y'all believed and felt, yes, yeah, she was being genuine. <laughs> Honey, please, I tell you, that was a trippy poll. And I would have had a lot more, but time got away from me. And I did not want to think of a whole lot of questions on Thursday night. Not giving y'all enough time to just have at your leisure to go and read the questions and respond to them. So I try to get the polls out. Uh, on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and then I may rush and put one for Thursday if something's popping out there on them uh, internet streets, okay? Just to get your take on it. I might not necessarily do a video, but, you know, I like to talk with you all. I like to keep the interaction going, flowing, and so we can stay in tune with one another and have chit-chat here and there. But that's all I had for those polling results for November 17th through November 23rd. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And uh, definitely come back. Because you know Sunday is our date night. <laughs> we got Married to Medicine. And Real Housewives of Atlanta to talk about honey. And you know it's going to be on fire. Because it's been pretty lackluster. Slash giving me a little something to want to uh, tune in to them on Sundays. So they haven't gotten to where they don't flatline. I'd be like, okay, we need somebody to revive them. So it hadn't gotten to that point. I'm still kicking and chuckling here and there throughout little episodes. But that doggone married the medicine is cutting up over there with them putting quad way over on the other side of the island. <laughs> Just checking out this episode that's coming Sunday. I think it's at nine o'clock. It airs, but yes, honey, they go on their couple's trip, their famous trip to Simone and Cecil take them on each year as well as celebrating their 
next anniversary that they're, they're hosting. I think this is their 23rd anniversary. But yeah, they got quad way on the other side of the island. <laughs> Thinking that quad may want their husbands. I'm like, oh my goodness. But y'all tune in with me and I will be back for another video tomorrow. You know those two will get out for you all to partake of. And y'all get down in them comments as usual. Status quo. And I'll see you next video. Good night, guys.